What's happening, everybody? This is Hayden Adams, and I have one big problem. I want to embed my video that I made a few weeks ago, this Hello World full screen landing page. If you haven't watched it, I do recommend it. But what I want to do is I want to embed this on my website in a React Gatsby project. And if I go to share and embed, this code is all HTML. What I want to do is I want to take this code and add it to my React slash Gatsby project and make it completely responsive. We're gonna do that using our hello world right now. So I have the default React slash Gatsby project, hello world running, just says hello world. And what I have to do is I have to bring in some help to make this work. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna one, come over to iTerm, stop this build. And what I have to do is I'm gonna head over to React Bootstrap. If we type React Bootstrapping, I was gonna say in Gatsby, in Google, too many Gs, you should find at the very top at react-bootstrap.github.io. We're gonna grab the React Bootstrap because the magic part about this is it brings in the vanilla Bootstrap as well. I'm gonna say get started. I'm gonna come down here and copy the NPM install and I'm gonna drop it in. And while this is working, what I'm also gonna do is come down and grab the CSS. Just like this, I'm gonna come down line number two and drop it in. I'll save it, but since I'm not running my server, perfect, it's saved. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna restart up Gatsby Develop just to make sure it's all working successfully. And if I come into localhost 8000, the only thing we're gonna see change is this font from a serif font to a sans serif font, which is the default in bootstrap slash react bootstrap. Never mind this big webpack cache. If I refresh the page, it kicks it in and I know that react bootstrap is installed. Now that we know that react bootstrap is installed and it also comes with vanilla HTML CSS bootstrap, I'm gonna do one more Google search. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna search for bootstrap and we can always say bootstrap five. And what I'm looking for here is ratio. They've changed the word embed to ratio. And in this ratio section, right down here, if we pull Chrome a little farther down for right now, you'll notice that it gives me a video that I can then embed. Now we're not gonna worry about this video, but we're gonna change this link to make it work. Yes, we are in HTML, we have to do a little more work, but this is a start. I'm gonna copy this because it's already a 16 by nine ratio, thank you. And if you want different ratios, you can also use one by one, four by three, 16 by nine, or 21.9 for a full letter box if you're shooting those kind of videos inside of YouTube. In this case, mine know mine is 16 by nine, so I'll just move hello world down, and hello world should move down, and let's just make hello world h1, it's gonna yell at me for one second. And we should have now is the H1. Perfect, hello world. What I'm gonna do also is I'm gonna drop this in for right now, but I'm just gonna turn it off. I'm gonna comment it out because this is all HTML code and we have to change that. What I first have to do in order for this to be truly responsive is I have to bring in a container. Now the container is where everything gets wrapped around in. And how we write our code with React Bootstrap is it says import button, but I almost use, even though it says less ideally, import curly brackets, the word button. We're not gonna write the word button, we're gonna write the word container. So up here at the top, I'm gonna say import, not on, I'm gonna say import. And what I usually do is I add the curly brackets first, and then I'm gonna say react, and we'll say from React Bootstrap. The reason why I type this empty is that it'll pull from here into here. So if I say the word container, it automatically fills it in because it knows the container is part of React Bootstrap. What I'll do is actually let's add hello world into the container and drop it in. And now what I'll do is with the H1, bring it right back up. All the container does is it creates the breakpoints. So now hello world now is not on the corner, but off to the side. And when I move my screen, 
it moves with the relative breakpoints inside of the design. That's all we're using it for. Now I can bring this back. So what I'll do is I'll uncomment it out. I'll cut it. Now here's the thing. One, I'm not quite sure I have it set up where it should indent, but for some reason it's not. This is not the correct YouTube link I want to use. And also I want to make sure I change the word class to the word class name. Class name in terms of using it for React slash Gatsby. Now I'm not going to play the video because that's going to be copyright violations all across this video. But what I want to do is I'm going to grab my video with Bootstrap 5 full screen landing. In the embed, if I try to copy any bit of it, it just selects everything. So we'll just copy it. And what I'll do is I'm going to bring it down here for right now. And make sure when you are copying your code that you're not copying the youtube.com slash watch, but you're copying the youtube.com slash embed. So I want the embed URL. And we'll cut it out. And we'll get rid of this iframe. And if we come up, I'm going to then paste in this right here. And like magic, when I come back to this, now I have the Bootstrap 5 full screen landing page. Now, if I try to play it, I do have my sound turned off. So I don't want to hear myself talk and then myself talk again. But if we try to make this full screen, you'll notice that I can't click the full screen option. We'll just let it stop. So don't play it and we'll close these pieces. So this is a problem that by default, by copying and pasting the allow full screen will not work. That's because it's not written in a JSX camel case. What I mean by that is the capital F and the capital S are not, well, capital. So if I take this out and I say allow full screen, what'll happen is when I save it and refresh this page, now what I get if I play the video is that I now get, get those all out of the way, now I can make the video go full screen. So you have to change a couple things. And the last thing to remember is don't forget the title. If you take this title out, what's going to happen is JSX is going to say, whoa, warning, iframe elements must have a unique title property to them. So that's why it provides it to you by default. And don't forget to not take it out and just change allow full screen. And that's how you can embed your YouTube videos in your React slash Gatsby projects.